Mark Wade, president of the Bermuda Football Association. It's been a tough few days um, following the passing of Mazai Burchell, well-known footballer, um, someone you've had an opportunity to touch as a coach of, of PHC, giving him the opportunity to get a start at senior level. Um, first, I guess, from an association standpoint, um, condolences to his family. Oh, uh, you know, absolutely. Um, for for those who don't know, uh, you'd have to be in a hole not to know that uh, you know Muzzy scored a fantastic goal on behalf of Bermuda in 2017 on the 20 Concacaf Championships. Mm -hmm. Lit Bermuda, up, right. really. Right. Uh, so certainly condolences to his family. Um, you know, it's a it's a, a talent talent that we've you know we're gonna have to do well. You know, it was two years prior to that that as a coach of PHC at the time, you gave him an opportunity in a Dudley final. Um, and he paid you back by coming on. And four minutes later, he, he was on the score sheet that turned out to be the winner. Yeah. Um, you saw a talent in him at a young age? Yeah, I mean, um, he had played for PHC for a number of years um, before going off to, I think, play for his Copa and then um, overseas for a little bit and then um, you know, we had the opportunity to sign him back at PAC when he returned to the island, uh, which we jumped at the opportunity. And we always saw talent, always. Um, we always had um, that that little extra, that little bit of um, game changer, always had that. Um, so, you know, as, as I, I sit and, and recall, you know, it, it, it was always just a matter of time before, you know, he made his debut in the Premier Division. Um, it's, um, I actually forgot, to be honest, um, until somebody said to me on Saturday when we were, you know, reminiscing, like, hey, didn't he, you know, didn't he get his start, um, you know, under you? And I said, you know what? Yes, he did, you know? Um, so it's, it's been a, it's been a tough few days, still tough, um, still tough. But, um, yeah, he did. He repaid me. Um, he got his debut uh, early on in the season and then, um, in the final came off the bench, um, settled on the nerves, because to be honest, uh, Robert Hood had us, had us under it mm -hmm. for a bit. Um, you know, I remember the game vi vividly, that um, they had us under it. Um, Antoine Russell was causing us some problems and along with um, Peskett. Mm -hmm. And um, we had to send it off of Antoine. Um, but Robin Hood was still very much in the match right. with 10 men. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, Muzzy came on and settled us down, and uh, we were able to bring it in. So, uh, former members, you know, uh, we'll keep this. And uh, hopefully, you know, um, his family got to use some of those memories to comfort them. Mm -hmm. uh, emotional scenes on Saturday night with Robin Hood playing, Devonshire Cougars, the entire PHC team came out and uh, stood with Robin yeah. Hood, and then obviously they were joined by Devonshire Cougars. Just football can do that, can it? Yeah, it, it's um, it's one of those things, you know. Um, football brings people together. We say it all the time, mm -hmm. but um, I think on Saturday night and then and then again on Sunday, Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, we saw that. You know, we saw it. We got to see it and experience it. Um, two teams that, you know, have a good relationship, um, do battle on the field. They don't they don't give any quarter um, when they play each other. But after the game, can um, you know embrace and then enjoy some fellowship afterwards. So we saw it um, vividly for everyone to see that yes, football brings us together. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.